and welcome to another exciting Let's Play starring me, L1011 Widebody, and have I got a treat for you today! Well, today we're going to be playing Cars Incorporated, a game that has not yet been released, an independent title that was developed by Mr. David Klonde. He approached me after seeing my uh, Let's Play Car Tycoon, uh, and uh, took a lot of the uh, suggestions and things that I lamented in that game that could have been better and has built a game and he has graciously provided me with an alpha copy and a registration key and this is going to be the world premiere let's play of this car tycoon type game cars incorporated and this is available at the website as you can see down here cars dash ink dash game dot com it's available as a demo I have the registered version because I am awesome like that briefly take a look at the options so you could set it to Imperial or US or metric oh that's weird what's the difference between Imperial and US I don't know full screen mode and auto saves basic stuff let's start going into the game start new game CEO is going to be L1011 widebody our company is going to be called move yourself motors 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 there we go Abbreviated, um, L move you. There we go. You can set your starting region here. The, the, the difficulty there. Very easy, hard. Europe is easy. Asia is medium. Africa is very hard. I don't know about any African car companies. Oceania is easy. That would be Australia. And here you can add other players, and there will be uh, computer players. You can add another uh, human, but I'm not going to be playing more human than a human, so get rid of that guy. You can change the date of the start. So in the demo, it, it defaults you to 1900. Whoops. So let's start at 1920. 1829. That's not a number. That's not a car year. 1920. 1930. I didn't type 1930. Oh well. Let's just scroll that back. 1920 will give us a good look at all of the awesome components, and we'll have a little bit of a kickstart as far as where we're going. And there is a tutorial, so we're going to skip that, obviously, because I am the tutorial. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, I forgot to choose my logo. Oh, well, I guess I'm G-Man now. <laughs> what do you want, Gordon Freeman? So here's your starting screen. We start with 2,006 million... Yeah, that's how you pronounce numbers, L10. $2.6 million. Here's our main office. So go into the office. This is the office. We have a billboard. Manage advertising budget. We have a creepy cat that's like photoshopped on. We have our email. Or snail mail, I suppose. From January 1895, eh? Probably should have checked the mail more recently. <laughs> Welcome to Cars Incorporated! Your good friend Gyro didn't pass you much after his untimely demise except for a small workshop and some weird sketches. It didn't even occur to him that it might be such a good idea to test this flying motor carriage himself, but if you drop the wings from the design you might be onto something. That's a very strange email. Or regular mail. We'll just delete that with the bomb. Get out of there. If you are a financial statement, obviously nothing has happened. We'll 
play with that later. So here's our basic interface. This goes to the game options. This is your money, your name, your company. This will end the turn. This is a turn-based game like Detroit, and if you played Detroit, this will be fairly familiar to you, at least as far as the way the uh, workings go. Uh, it's not a real-time game like the disaster that was Car Tycoon. Pfft. Oh, load of suck that was! Let's see, we can go to the bank. You have a savings account. You can put some money away for a rainy day. You can take out a loan. We have a line of credit available. Interbank Incorporated. No, bank's not going to help me drive my car. And here is our business site. So this is where you sell cars. So this is where you offer a car in various regions. You can select your various regions here and such. And this will show more interesting things as I go along. And this is the factory. You have different production lines. And the interesting thing about this game is that you actually have to pr produce the components uh, separately, which is uh, interesting. I'll get a little bit more into that. We'll play a little bit more with that and, and do some fun things with that. But first, we have to go to research and development because we need to start researching our stuff because we don't have... We don't know how a car works yet. So we need to go to a body development. So let's start a new project. Body development, body one. That's not a very good name. We'll call this the... Uh, what's a good old-timey car name? How about the Tempest? Oh, Temoist. Tempest. You never hear that name word anymore. So then you have your specifications. Body type, engine size, seats and trunk, dimension. You could set your quality settings. So we're going to set the quality all the way to low because we want to just start building a small, cheap car and throw it out there because people don't have a lot of money yet. And you can go into the body designer and this is the really fun part where you can design your car. So instead of just researching different bodies and stuff, you can actually do your own body work, which is pretty cool. I like this part. Let's see. And you can click on these little uh, togglers, change the change the narrow width of the of the engine thing move back move, make a big old snout like that I see the max engine size increases to 197 cubic inches shrink that make it very small down to 70 Let's see we can have some and here's our various extra components let's put uh, I don't think we need headlights on. You don't need to drive in the dark, do you? Only criminals drive in the dark? Are you some kind of criminal? Put a roof on it, but that'll cost money. Soft top. Or a hard top. See, apparently it has different safety and luxury bonuses. 873 pounds, see, and the weight changes, so you, the weight is important because you're going to need a chassis that can support as much weight, so if we have no roof, oh, hmm, I guess the soft top is the same amount, it's a convertible, baby, or something, actually it's a micro car, according to this, this, and this will change as you, as you develop it, so if, for instance, if I, Pull this way the hell back here. Now it's a mid-sized wagon. How about that, huh? And then if I... Hmm, where is the... Then I can... Play with the trunk. Oop! I said play with the trunk. Something? Maybe? No? Oh, put in a little, uh, whatchamajigger there. Uh, the car thing. You can put a spare tire in. Supposed to be able to make trucks out of this, but I can't remember how that works. Oh, come on. Make me a truck. 
Oh, I remember now. I think you have to pull on the seats. So you pull on the seats. Can't see the seats. Come on, pick the seats. If you... No? I know there's a way to do it. I've seen it done before. I did it accidentally one time. Well, it's still an alpha version, so it's a little bit finicky. Boop. And you could shape that. I don't know <laughs> what that's for. Oh, you know what? Maybe if we take the roof off. Then we can, uh... Have, uh... Have a pickup truck, maybe? No? That's odd. You can't seem to. What is this one? What's this guy do? That's the width. There's a little handle back here. I guess have you would call them handles. That does. I don't know what that's doing. <laughs> What's this do? Let's do something, something out of sight. Oh, that's still playing with the thingamajig. Huh. I can't seem to remember how to make a pickup truck out of the car. But you can! Maybe it's this one. No, that's still with. Anyway, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. So let's stop screwing around and let's actually make our neat little car here. So, we want to have, obviously we want to pull this back in because we want to pick a very small car. Just a little, whoops, not that small. Wait, what if I... Uh, uh, what's this do? There we go! Aha! Now it's a truck! Yeah, that's right. You have to get rid of the seats, because you can't have a truck with four seats. That would be ridiculous, says the person from 1920. Anyway, we're not going to build a truck. Are we? A mid-sized convertible. <laughs> okay. Sure, a convertible truck. Why the hell not? Let's bring our wheelbase back in. Oh shrink this guy back in. We Compact convertible. Sure. We'll have four seats. Small convertible. Because we want to have just a little kind of little cruising around car for our first basic car. Just want to throw out like a little small car to get people build a lot of them and that's not a sentence. The sentence I'm attempting to say is not been found. Like it's smaller, 873 pounds. Why is it so heavy now? What did I do to make it so heavy? Let me make it... Oh, you can change the width of the running boards. That's kind of cool. Angle the windshield back. Or make it taller. Whoop! I guess I, I want to make it less wide. Where is the widener? There it is. Ah, it's just a cute little car. Let's see, and the wheels. Make them big. What's this? This is... I don't know. It doesn't seem to do something. Anyway, there's a whole hell of a lot of things you can play around with in here. Some of these things that don't seem to... It's a little bit tricky to get the things in here. You know, it would be nice if there was a little bit more feedback as far as, like, uh, if you hovered your thing over it, it would tell you what it does. That would be nice narrow the snout down a little bit, put a 
tiny, tiny little car. Zoop. What's this do? Um, something. Makes a little bump in the thing. Angle. Oh, no, make it short. How do you angle the windshield? There used to be a way to do it. Oh, there we go. A little bit of clipping there. Call it windshield. What's this do? Now that's still the height. Is this, this one? There we go. Angle the windshield. What's this do? Oh, uh, that changes the... That's kind of weird. Make the... Have a whole <laughs> so much leg room in the front you can't even reach the things. But that, huh? Strange how that doesn't seem to affect the weight though. Interesting, 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 interesting. And whoops, no. I wanted to let's see, change the. Move the seats a little bit more. Give it more trunkness. Eight cubic feet of trunk. We can scallop our way up here and down. Let's see, this will. Whoops! No! Well, that's a little bit finicky there. Whoa! Okay. Five feet of trunk. That's no good. Oops, that's the... <laughs> oh, that doesn't look right. Okay, that's not... <laughs> okay. We'll just lower this a bit. Yeah, there we go. I think we've got a nice looking car here. Move the seats forward a bit. Seven cubic feet of storage. Dear, a little uh, commuter car. Well, let's take a look at some of our options. We can select the roof. Uh, put the roof on it. Micro car. Yeah, that'll work. Select wheel rims. I always like the wiry, spoky rims. Gives it some class. But you can do these ones. Eh. We have different kinds of tires, apparently. Full rubber tire. P pneumatic tire. Advanced P pneumatic tire. So let's use the cheapest tires. Oop. Ah. Let's have a drink of water. Bumpers. Nope. Where we're going, we don't need bumpers. And let's select the color. What's a good color? Ooh, lots of colors. Oh, lime green. Yeah, look at that. There we go. There's our buddy. Okay. That was fun. So let's assign some engineers so we can get this started to work. Remaining research time is five months. That's too slow. So let's hire some more engineers. You know, so we have some uh, factory workers who are doing nothing. I'm not going to make a joke about that at all. Not even a little one. 58 available engineers we will hire. And see, here's their wages. And your employees accept their current wages. So, apparently, there will have to be, like, labor issues, maybe, as the wages go up and down. So we hired some more engineers. So, let's engineer the hell out of this guy. Zoom! Scotty, I need more engineers. Two months. Okay. So, and then you have your other components. We'll worry about those later. We're gonna go one component at a time, and I will show you why in a second. And that will be the end of this turn of January. We will lose money on our expenses. Minus 38,000. 
Good job, L1011. You're losing money like a pro. Anyway. So. Our buddy is being researched. So now, since we're at... The green bar is the amount of research. Yellow is the amount to be researched this turn. And the red that is gone would be the research remaining. So... Let's take some engineers off of this task. Because we've already engineered whoop, to the maximum. Not that many. We want our body to be available in one month. There we go. Now we have to develop an engine. So, first of all, we need to take note. We have 59 cubic inches available in our tiny little car here. So, we want to make sure we don't engineer an engine that's too big. So we'll set that to 55 cubic inches. We can change the number of cylinders. 6, 8, 12! Okay, let's not get carried away then. It's not a Ferrari. Probably get away with a two-cylinder, actually. Let's see. Oops. 100,005 cubic inches! That's a Corvette or a jet plane or something. Performance 15.1, 13.9. Base consumption. So, yeah, you have a little bit of difference in the uh, base consumption, which is the amount of gas that it uses. So... Right around four cylinders is about the best because it gives us a good performance and a good base consumption. Six, six cylinders will give us. Uh, see if I can do a six cylinder, that'll give us a little bit more performance. And the quality setting, we'll have it low. The weight will be low. And let's put our available engineers into that. You don't want to hire. Too many engineers because then you'll have way too many and they'll be expensive and you'll kind of run yourself out of money real quick in the beginning. So we'll have our car done next, our body next time. And then next turn we'll focus on the engine. Let's end this turn. <gasps> I have a letter. I got a letter from my brother, and it said, The research department has completed the development of the car body Tempest. The 109.7 long generation 2 body suits your specifications and comes to a weight of 544 pounds. The generation 2 is like the, um, the different, so, like, you know, they come with uh, the different, body styles, right? So it's like kind of a kind of a gangster looking car, you know, a 20s car unless of a original like Model D car so that's what that means. I, I believe that I haven't actually gone through that far enough played far enough through it, but I believe that's what happens more generations become available. So here's our engine. Let's make it happen oh two months ah another drink of water all right so we're working on our engine oh i should have given it a cool name um how about the um what's a good name for an engine uh, Casey Jones. Casey Jones V6. Ha ha. Okay. Well, let's hope it's not too many displacements, because that will suck. Okay, that'll... Well, our car body is built, or developed, so, right? Now it says it's a prototype. So you have different types. You have prototypes and then you have production models. So you can go through a lot of prototypes. That's more relevant in the engine and the chassis development. I'll show you that 
in a bit. So since we have a body to develop it, you actually have to build these separate components on separate lines, which is kind of cool. So if you have cars, well, we don't have a car. Right? See? Look at that. But we do have a body. We have a Tempest body. And it takes three months to tool up our line, which is unfortunate. It takes a long time. So, but we want to start tooling that up now while we're still researching our other stuff so we don't take too long. And this turn... More losses. That's okay. Go to factory, remaining months too. Look at that. Research and development. Our engine should be down to one month. So let's pull some engineers off. Whoops, not that many engineers. Ah! Lay them all off. Nobody needs to engineer anything. I can build a car all by myself, says Captain CEO. That's what Western capitalism is all about. Let's go. One month. There we go. All right. So, the weight of our engine is about 500 pounds. And the weight of our body is a little bit more than 550 pounds. That's important for our chassis because there's a certain amount of weight it has to carry. So, we don't need quite that much weight. Let's that, we'll scale that down. Let's do that to about 15... Uh, 1800. That'll give us some wiggle room for some upgrades later. Oh, wait. The chassis also weighs something. That's right. Eh, forget that. Okay, so eh, put it back to 2200. And there's these various statistics that will happen once you finish researching it. All right. End turn. I'm still paying those workers to do nothing. Good for them. And let's get rid of this. Uh, the Tempest, yeah. Uh, it doesn't automatically clear your email, which is strange. The research department has completed the development of the engine Casey Jones. 52 cubic inches displacement. Great! It fits just underneath it. Oh, one thing I did want to mention is that um, this screen is like really hard to read these numbers. Um, with all these numbers in the background, so I would like, really like, this to be like a flat color and not transparent weirdness. It's uh, hard to read. Very hard to read, actually. So, anyway. Look at those. Look at those jerks already building cars. How does that happen? How do they have cars before? Never mind. We have one remaining month before our Tempest is available. Okay. We've completed research of our engine, our Casey Jones V6. We have these little icons here. You can improve the performance of the engine with higher performance from similar displacement or an engine variant with optimized fuel consumption. Which is kind of cool. You can kind of tinker with your engines and make them better without having to develop an entirely new one. Anyway, let's go to our chassis. Because we need to get that chassis researched. Boom. One month? Oh, two months. We have one available engineer. I guess we will have him, so let's start developing... A better fuel consumptioner. Casey Jones, Rev B. One engineer. It'll take him 163 months. He will be bored out of his mind having to do it all by himself. Anyway, our engine is developed, so let's start producing our engines. We have to tool up our line for that. There we go, under construction. And next turn, our chassis will be available. Yep, 
Let's go! Okay! Two new messages! Research complete! The chassis is doing the cool things! Currently grade the handling is average, spench is average, and the freaking S average! Subject factory setup complete! We have completed a production line! And now that we've done that, let's assign workers to it. Assigning those workers. I like the music in this game, it's real jazzy. Makes me feel like I'm in New Orleans. Dun, 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 dun. So we're gonna start building our tempest bodies. Here you can ship the parts to different regions. You can pause production. You can blow up the line. You can change the production quality. The higher the quality, the better the quality. <laughs> the higher the quality, the lower number it produces. And this is the productionness level. So that'll be fine. We're going to produce 18 of these per month. We're going to start building up a stock of those because this is where our stock will be. You have stocks of parts and the parts come together to build a car. It's very realistic. So there's our Tempest prototype. It should be changing to a production model soon. 162 months. That lonely engineer. And components. That'll come in later. So here's our chassis. Has been developed. Various statistics. It's got a good carrying capacity. Handling is different score points. And weight. And the material cost. And the model year. Oh, and here's these other things. Start a new project. Create a new clone, basically. Put this project in the archive, or explode and kill this project for good like the EV-1 and pretend it never existed. But now we've got enough components to build a car, so let us build a car. Select car body. The Tempest. Select an engine. The Casey Jones V6. Select the chassis. Chessy one. There we go. There's our new car. Four seats, 17 horsepower from 52 cubic inches. Number four gears. Gears are cool. What we'll two? Why not? And then you can go and uh, look at your car. There it is. Wee. And there's like uh, Da Vinci's guy there. <laughs> Wiener. Oh, L10, you're so <laughs> juvenile. <laughs> List your dimensions. You get various luxury and safety bonuses. Uh, wait, this is the body. What am I doing? There we go. Go back to the car. Yes, own concept. I wonder what own concept means. Anyway, build and test prototype. Let's put my squiggly signature there. You could share this car, share your wonderful car on Facebook, but I don't have a Facebook, so you will not be seeing it there. Anyway, I'll go to our factory. Now we can build our chassis. Chassis. And build our car. Move Yourself Motors 1. I could have come up with a better name than that. Can I change the name now? course. This is the default name. I just kind of screwed through it. Tempest. There we go. And I guess the chassis name is fine. Anyway, so we're tooling up our production lines. It takes a little bit. We're building our car bodies soon. That's good. While we have available engineers, let's uh, start continuing to research things. See, and this is why you don't want to ha hire too many engineers, because you can still use them for doing stuff. 
This guy is going to keep researching. We'll have a better engine. Also, you can go to the race management now that we have a car. You can enter cars into the races and do like uh, sponsor cars in uh, Grand Prix and stuff. And that's really fun, and I will do that when it comes up to the next time. Be cruising along here. All right, prototype construction, factory construction. We're starting to create our awesome vehicle. One month, two months, two months. See, we've got some stock now. Stock 18, built 18, imported, exported. I'm not sure what mixed price does. Quality rating tells you how quality it is. Our car sucks, but that's okay. We just need to throw it out there real fast. And this means we've moved up 18 and we've shipped zero. Let's take a look at our engine. So since we have so many engineers, peel some of them off of this project. Whoops, not that many. No. It would be nice if you could, um... Whoops. If you could, like, uh, type in remaining research time, and it would automatically deploy the number of engineers that you need. That would be cool. So we have some free engineers. So we should use them! So let's increase the handling of our, of our chassis. Yes, let's do that. Okay, we'll be producing engines next month. I said next month. There we go. <laughs> New messages. Research complete. Factory setup complete. All right, we're getting ready to produce our automobiles. We have 36 Tempest bodies in stock. We have a new production line with no workers on it, so let's hire some workers for our to work our production line. We have 58 available. That's cool. Let's hire them all. Kaching! Welcome aboard, boys. Allocate them. To this line, we'll be building them. And our research completed on the engine. So, this is so so this is what happens. You can continually increase uh, the efficiency and such of your engine. So, it's got 16.4 miles per gallon, 14.6 miles per gallon. So we can just keep uh, increasing it without actually having to uh, build one. That's where we come with our prototypes. I like this song. It reminds me of Mr. Rogers. <laughs> it's Mr. Rogers type music. It's very relaxing. It's all these jazz songs. Okay, so. Next turn, we will actually be building cars. Which means we should start offering them. Let's offer our new Tempest to the North America and see who will buy it. Place some orders. So the cool thing about this game is instead of just building cars and selling them, you actually they actually place orders. Oh, a new component. I can show you what that is. Yeah, factory line is complete. Factory line is complete. We have a 
Research department is proud to tell you that we have come up with a great new component which we can further improve our vehicles. Please visit us in the research department as soon as you can so we can talk about this new project. So like I said, the cool thing about this is that you actually get you the the dealerships place orders for your car instead of the holy cow, look at that monstrosity of a thing. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Um so yeah, the dealers place uh orders for you for your car and then you ship it to them instead of you selling them yourself, which is a nice realistic thing. So, set our base selling price based on our uh based on our uh, components, right? Okay. There's our new orders. We are awaiting delivery 697. We have a lot of orders to fill. And not enough workers to build them. So let's buy some more workers. 53. 53 workers. See, we've already started building up a stock of them. So that's good. So we need to build up... Oh, not that many. We could type in... Well, I don't know. Let's, uh, 30. I suppose. And then, uh, 23 would be the remaining workers. We have all of our workers assigned. And you'll notice that we have not enough, uh, production to match our chassis. Or our chassis is outproducing our body, or our car. So we're going to upgrade this production line. And now it is more efficient and produces more cars. I will take some of this stock and input it into this car and the cars will be delivered. Let's take a look at what our new component is. A three-speed transmission. Mm. A three-speed transmission makes high speeds possible and improves the consumption of the car, but it is difficult to handle for the driver. Poor driver. So that's where that comes in. It's new, new things, and that would be uh, when we set the when we set the number of gears, that will be there. And sometimes the, the components will be like body add-ons, like new exciting tires and things. So here's our engineers engineering away. Happily. That's good. Okay. Alright. Okay. Your business sites. I'm not sure what this green bar is, though. Anyway, now that we have a car available, we should start doing some advertising. So let's, uh... Fortunately, there isn't really a good, uh... Feedback from your advertising. I don't really know what a good number is, or... Or how it affects it, but anyway go start selling some cars so 13 cars good for us yay okay starting to make cars build cars we need uh, more cars more chassis producer cars producer guys workers Set that amount to hire 60 new workers. Ah. Oh, and now the billboard shows your car and your car name, which is pretty cool. I like that. There's that Mr. Rogers song again. Anyway, so we'll put all these workers into the chassis. Kabang! So now we should be. We'll clear out this stock of these things, and as we clear that out, we will make money, and we can upgrade our lines as they become available. 
And that's, uh, that's basically, uh, how it goes. It's, it's pretty cool. I've had a lot of fun with this game. I'm kind of, kind of blitz through a little bit faster. See, look, now we're making a profit. Look at that. How about that? Research completed for their new engine. Cool. So let's take a look at our, uh, got 617. We have a hell of a lot of orders we need to fulfill. Okay, so first of all, let's go hire more more workers. Fifty-nine workers. Ka-ching! There they go. Off to the construction line. So it looks like we're making a stock on our chassis. And our tempest is the bottleneck now. So let's put some more workers in there. More workers. Come on. Come on, workers. All the way to the top. Uh, I'm just putting... <laughs> the nice thing is you can uh, put in a really high number and it'll make it happen. It'll I'll go to the automatic default top. So we're going to be producing 139, so we're going to run out of chassis and stuff, so we're going to upgrade this chassis production line so we can keep up with the demand. And as we keep going, we will upgrade these guys because we'll run out of stock in those. We're still engineering away. Made a new engine. We're almost to a new chassis. Let's uh, upgrade the performance. We dun 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 da da dun dun da dun, dun, dun. I like this music. It's jazzy. Okay, building our cars, getting our orders, selling and stuff. Three hundred and fifty-three thousand dollars profit, and we have some cancel orders because we haven't fulfilled them fast enough. Only delivered fifty-seven cars. Now the other production lines are being the bottleneck. So let's go take out a loan so we can we can uh, have more. Better production lines. Loan money. Give me. Give me some money. Alright. Upgrade. Upgrade. So, as you can see, we're building quite a lot of things. We will hire more workers. And allocate those workers. Let's see. What I want to do is I want to start building more bodies. Let's see. Ah, uh, we can't quite upgrade this line yet. We don't quite have enough money. So let's see. We're still. Well, let's do a new chassis. Damping comfort. Make it nice and smooth ride. Do, 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 do. That'll take a while. Okay. Next month, the end of the year. That goofy ass thing sold. <laughs> 9,000 things. And you get a car, the, uh, Car of the Year Awards, which is pretty cool. It's like uh, auto show things. Look at me. I'm the most advanced car in the world. My cute little commuter car. And you get money for that. Price money. 
Um, that should be prize money with a Z, not price money with a C. <laughs> oh dear. That's okay. The creator of this game is German, so his English isn't the best, but, you know... I cut him some slack because this is a fun game. We have a new chassis. Look at that. So, how many more? We delivered 98. We are still way the hell behind on our orders. Man, we need to build a hell of a lot more cars. Okay, let's hire some more. Hire some more workers. Hire workers. Hire workers. Let's see. Building 139, so let's, um, hmm. Let's upgrade this line to level 3. And let's put all our workers in this line. Derp. 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 Eight million workers! Get to work, guys! Okay. We will be eating into that backlog now. Let's see. We have all of our engineers are allocated, right? Yes. We're working on our various things. January, February, total earnings, ka-ching, 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 research completed. 18.4 horsepower, that's cool. More horsey powers. Okay, how are we doing? Building more than enough, more than enough uh, everything except engines. So. Let's upgrade the engine line. Why not? Hire some more workers. Wow, 116 applicants, eh? That's a lot more than before. Okay, let's see. Where are we? We're gonna need more bodies. So let's put 150 workers there. And then I suppose all of the guys, the rest of the guys here. 516 a month. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to keep up with that with my components. Anyway, still researching and stuff. More better engines, and I'll show you what you can, what a neat thing you can do in a second. Here, I think. Um, let's see. This has three months, and this has three months. So at three months, we're gonna offer a new trim level of our car. We're gonna use the same body with new components. It'll be a higher level. Oh my goodness. So many orders to be fulfilled. Ah. Well, we're short of chassis. So let's hire some more chassis workers. Do, 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 do. Your workers and engineers are happy. That's good. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Produces 364 a month. There we go. We're rolling and cruising. Look at that. Big time profits now. Six hundred thirty five orders. Okay. Now 
we can upgrade one of our lines. It's basically, at this point, once you have a car developed and the components developed, you just basically just managing your your parts and such. Your uh, part uh, um, inventory, that's the word I'm looking for. We'll upgrade that guy. Okay, we should be really good now. Let's see, what else? We're not... We've got one month left and we'll be able to... We'll offer a new vehicle. That'll be pretty cool. Let's see. Um, hire 150 workers. Because we gotta move those refrigerators. Move. Uh, produces 516 a month, so. Huh. Well, I don't know. What is gonna run out of. Well, we're gonna need a lot more of uh, the Tempest bodies because we're gonna be offering two trim levels of Tempest. Here we go. $2.8 million. I have new researches completed. Cool. New engine, new chassis. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to offer the Tempest LX. Because that's always a good name for a higher trim level. Use the same Tempest body. Use our fancy ass engines. This will be like our higher level line. Bang. We'll start offering the new trim level. In order to do that, we need to open up some new production lines. So, and this is the cool thing: you can set this to build the Tempest LX. And then, if you open the new lines, it'll be automatic setup. It'll automatically let you build your new components. So, look at that. We have two production lines building two cars. Huh, that's weird. MU Tempest LX and Tempest... Huh. Okay, why not? So we'll have our one production line building lots of Tempest bodies, and then we'll have our uh, different... This is kind of like offering different options for the same car, because you have to build the different components, so that's kind of... That's kind of cool. You can offer different components or uh, different uh, trim levels for the same car. That we're starting to clear out our back orders. That's cool. I guess, I don't know. What else do we research? Research a better engine. Better performance. The cool thing is that you can create cars specifically just for racing. So I'm going to have a car built just for racing. Oh, our sales are down. Why is that? Our chassis are backlogged. Boom! No more backlog. Now they're all level three. So we should be building more than enough cars. Let's see, go to our business site. Waiting deliveries. So we do want to hire a bunch of new workers. 
because we're going to need them to build our Tempest LX when it becomes available. So let's go, let's set uh, 300. Sure, why not? And then next month we'll hire a bunch more guys to work on the Tempest line. Let's see, how many long times is our research gonna be? Only one month. Okay! There we go, sales are better. What's this? Oh, research completed. So let's and construct our race car. Put the Tempest body on it and our racing engine. I don't know how well it's gonna do because it's like a little tiny. <laughs> We'll call it the Tempest 2000. Ha ha ha! Okay. Go ahead and enter that. Oh. What? It has to be under construction, I suppose. Well, let's do that. I guess there are some rules to. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't sign the papers. My bad. Okay, now we should be able to offer it. Hire a driver. The best driver that money can buy. You can also enter a second car. So let's do that. I'll also put a good driver in him. Uh, two cars. Now, I don't know if we have to... Probably don't have to... We already... So... You build a prototype, so... Oh... Uh, ooh, balls. I should put another gear in that. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Instead of a one gear, let's see, this should be done, that'll be done in time for October. We can remove our cars, right? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. So anyway, let's hire some more workers. And then once I run the race, I think that'll be wrapping that up for this LP, because that'll be pretty much everything that you can see. See, look at that, we're really moving and grooving now. Yay. Delete 300. And then make this 300. Whoops, not 3,000, 300. One worker available, one lonely worker. So, the Tempest LX will be available next month. So, let's offer it. It's even cheaper. Good for it. That makes sense. Why not? Oh, so many cars sold. Factory setup complete. Factory setup complete. Factory setup complete. Very good. Hire some more workers. They are hired. Good for them. Uh, 288 workers available. 
How many orders do we have for the Tempest LX? 770. That's a lot. But that's okay. Because we can... Uh, allocate plenty of workers. 288, so that's like 100 each. More or less. Now we left. 88. Upgrade. So there we go. And we'll have we'll be consuming more tempest bodies and stuff. In fact, the tempest production line is the one that's slowest. So let's upgrade him. Level four. Oh my. Let's see. Almost done. One thousand five hundred million cars sold. Research on the three speed transmission. Okay. That's good. And we see our cars being built. Our new Tempest LX. Lots of orders. Lots of orders, lots of orders. Okay. Um, I'm not going to concern myself too much because we're pretty much wrapping this up. Let's upgrade. 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 And we're going to build our new race car. Eh, get rid of this guy because he's dumb. Boom. Now, we can have uh, our new cool car, the Tempest 2000. With uh, three forward gears. Oh my goodness. So many gears to choose from. Put some engines in there. Put a chassis in there. Build it, and they will come. Go to race management and let's enter our car. We'll watch our race go because that'll be fun. It's pretty cool actually because little racing cars and everything. So I think you've uh, got the uh, idea. It was the only one thing that I wanted to mention is that. Um, Let's see. How many Tempests are we building? Lots. Upgrade the chassis line. Um, you can also offer cars in... <laughs> crazy spinny car. Uh, and different markets like Europe. So if we offer the Tempest in Europe, we'll get some orders there. And then we can, uh, if we have too many cars, see, we have a stock of Tempests now. We have 795 Tempests available. Because we cleared out all of our orders. Hey, look, I'm like the second sellingest car ever. That's cool. We have 661 orders from Europe. So, go to ship parts to another region and ship those guys to Europe. And give them some cars. You can export cars. So, we are one of them fancy imports from America, I guess. See, we're getting a lot of orders for our Tempest LX. 
that's very good. Yeah, everything's pretty okay. I'll leave that the way that it is. Because, uh, oh, you only get two pages of uh, production lines, so you gotta be wise with how you use them. So obviously, you can have more bodies and stuff. I only scratched the surface of it. Because I basically just wanted to show that you can have multiple multiple trim lines for the same with the same body. Which is a nice touch, which is something that you don't get really. It's pretty cool, I like that. So let's go racing. Use the mouse wheel or the keys to zoom in on the racetrack. Start race! Look at him go! Oh, our cars are a little slow. Well, maybe. So you can zoom in and out. Look at that. And this is our um, fuel. Set driver aggressiveness. Be the most that you can be. I suppose. That one guy is in second place. Oh, now he's in third. He's not very fast. Because he's just a little car. But look at him go. <laughs> I like this. This is pretty cool. Oh, big backlog here. Oh, and the cars have to stop at the pits, too when they're uh, out of fuel. Which is why my cars are way out in front because I have the fuel efficientest cars ever. Let's set the driver aggressiveness down to like one. Look at him go. Do 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 do. Unfortunately, there's no... you can't, um... move in any other direction. Just in and out. It goes in and out, and in and out, and in and out. But look at us! We're, like, way in front of... Well, this guy's gonna come past us, but... he's gonna have to pit. Look at him go! Ha! 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 Fuel efficiency of the future. Oh, maybe they will run out of gas. I hope not. What is this fuel economy you speak of? Oh, he's coming up pretty fast. Well, maybe not. Look at him go. Wee! Ha 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 ha! This is so cool. Oh no! Are we gonna win or not? Oh no! There's a big backlog at the thing! Oh, we won! Yay! First and second place! Go move yourself! One million dollars! Six hundred thousand dollars! Cool! So, that's fun! Got our sales in Europe, sales in North America, price, money. So yeah, that's basically it, Cars Incorporated. And then, uh... The other thing is that when you win races, it increases your press... press this is, must be your image. It increases your image around the world because you're now a world-famous race car driver. But anyway! That's Cars Incorporated. It's a very fun, fun game. You can pick up the demo at the website uh, specified. And you can hook up with them on Facebook and everything. And it's still in an alpha stage, so I'm looking very forward to uh, what else can uh, happen. What, uh, how this game's going to develop in the future. So I'm very, very excited about this game. 
and it's a lot of fun and is way the hell better than Car Tycoon. It's a lot more realistic. It's pretty fun. Uh, if I did have uh, one complaint, it seems to be a little bit too easy to make money, as you can see, because it's pretty much you just start rolling in cash once you start, you know, selling your cars. So there's a little bit, uh, maybe there will be a little bit fine-tuning of that and also there's a little uh there's uh, a little lack of feedback as far as what the you you don't get to see what um what the uh motivating uh factors in the purchasers you know uh, what the uh what the consumer is looking for uh whether they're looking for a uh, small cars or mid-sized cars or trucks or whatever or if uh fuel economy is more important or trunk space is more important so it would be kind of nice to have some uh, research or focus groups or something that would uh, give you some feedback on what the market is looking for but other than that it's a very fun game and I'm looking forward to it and I'm very proud to be the world premiere of this game so till next time I will see you around